The other day I was talking to a friend of mine and she was telling me about another friend of hers that recently went through a breakup. Now, both people live together and they both had horses. And the woman's big complaint was that the man never took care of his horses. She would go out and she would take care of her horse, but he just never took care of his so that she was ending up taking care of all of these horses. And it was actually a tremendous amount of work. And my friend said, can you believe that? You know, as girls do. And I said, yeah, actually I can. And you know, this is an area that I have had to work on a lot in my life because we do teach people how to treat us. And my friend said, well, if that's the case, you know, where did she go wrong? And I said, you know what? I bet early on in the relationship, she probably said something like, hey, I'm gonna go out here and take care of my horse. Why don't I just take care of yours too? And she did it because she felt like it was the right thing to do. And she did it because she loved the guy. And she did it because as women, we want to give and nurture. And that's just kind of what we do. But the mistake that I think she made and I often make myself is that we do these things out of the goodness of our heart, but we don't ask for anything in return. And what that tells the other person is then that we are someone that they can take from and not somebody that they can be, they can respect. So I think if it had been me and I was looking back at it, I would make sure in the next relationship when I felt that huge giving feeling of I want to give and nurture this person, then I need to ask for something in return. And maybe it's, hey, if I take care of your horses, will you do the dishes for me? Maybe they like doing the dishes better. And I think that that is a better way to be able to develop a partnership in your relationship and not have somebody treat you like a doormat. So if you like what I have to say, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hopefully I see you all tomorrow.